Okay. So this is, this is from the very beginning of setting up a brand new business manager um, and just go ahead and click on the blue button in the top, right, create account. And then here we're going to just simply name it. This, this doesn't have to be a corporate, a corporation, but you can just name it your real estate business, whatever, whatever name you're going to be using for real estate, whether it's your name or whether you have a different name, you can put whatever name you want there. Right now it's my name. I haven't done my name. Okay. So you could put your name. Is no one sees some? this. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no one sees this information but you. So this is not public information. This is just for, for the name of the account. Can I put realtor? No. Yeah, let's put realtor. Let's let's get a little more little little more descriptive. So yeah, we'll put realtor. Perfect. And then and then your name, you can leave your name there at the bottom and then um, your business email on the third one. Okay, and then what we'll do also is we'll um, create a new folder at the top. I know you have a, a, a bunch of bookmarks at the top. Maybe we can just make some room uh, yeah, for, yeah. for a new one. So right here, go ahead and, um, yeah, go ahead and confirm your email. So you want me to check it? Yeah, from here would be would be best. So we confirm the email address and then that would, that activates the actual account business manager. So we're good. So now we'll, we'll spend, so this right here is your business manager. And the way you can kind of um, understand it is every, every personal Facebook page has an ads manager. And it's just mainly for that one, for that one person. And, and when you have a business, sometimes you have different products or different services or different types of ads that you want to run. So Facebook gives you the ability to have multiple accounts, but you have to set up a business manager. And that's what this is. This is your business manager. So from here, you can op open up different advertising accounts all within this one business manager. Whereas again, with the ads manager, it's only one tied to your personal account. This is tied to your personal account as well. A business manager or an ads manager, it's still tied to your personal Facebook account, but it just allows you more flexibility and more, more access to more accounts should you need it. You may not even need more accounts, more advertising accounts. Most of the time you only need one anyways, but this is just in case you have, you may want other people working on your account. So if you delegate this to other people and you, you start to build a team and maybe you have someone, you know, doing this type of marketing for you, but it's through your account, through the business manager, you're able to give them access to different parts of your business page without having to give them passwords or without having to give them full access to any private information, you can just give them certain access to certain um, accounts, which would allow them to advertise if you, you know, delegate it to them. So the business manager, it just allows you to, to, to work with more people or for people to work with your account without looking at any of your private information. So the business manager is for mainly for, for real businesses that are going to, that are going to be consistent with, with advertising. Um, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to simply, um, bookmark it. So let's, let's create a folder at the top. We're going to start bookmarking. Um, we, there's a bunch of information here that we have to fill in, but we're going to start bookmarking as well. So let's create a folder. Let's, let's call this folder, um, business manager and, um, and we'll start bookmarking and put in a bunch of pages inside of this folder. So the folder will be named business manager. So yeah, perfect. Business manager. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay. So in here, there's going to be at the end of it, there's seven main pages that we're going to bookmark. And these are the only seven that you'll ever really need to know inside of the entire Facebook advertising platform. It's really, it really comes down to seven important pages and we're going to go over all those pages right now. So let's go back to the business settings to the Facebook one, and you can close out one of them. You have two of them open. You can go ahead and close out. Um, yeah. yeah, let's close out this one. Okay, That's perfect. Fine. So we can close out the email. Perfect, and we'll be right here. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and let's let's go ahead and bookmark this one. Let's bookmark this one, and we're gonna name this one business settings. So if you just hit the star, or if you just oh, the, the star, okay. Yeah, the star, and then we can just add bookmark, and this is business settings in the business manager folder. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so now to the left what we want to do is click on pages. So let's click on pages over there to the left under accounts. And over here, this is where, this is where we would have to, 
Now you don't have a business page yet, right? No, no. Okay, so we're going to create one from scratch right now. Yeah, that's so, what I mean. I don't want to miss it. Perfect. So let's go ahead and click on the blue button, and we're going to set up a whole new business page, and we're going to um, create a new page, the third one down. Create. Okay. Yes, create a new page. So I think, can add or create. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yes, you can. <clears throat> you can always add and see that that's like that's the whole ability of, of the business manager is that you can, you can request access to others. So for example, let's say you get really good at this and then you start a real estate team and then you start teaching and training your team how to advertise on Facebook. This gives you the ability because Gabriel now has a business manager account and not just an ads manager because he has a business manager, he can click pages and request access to someone else's page and help them start running ads. So if you had a team, you'd be able to request access because they're going to all have their own business page. So you, from your account, would be able to request access to their page and help them run ads mm -hmm. without needing to log into their account, without needing passwords for their Facebook page. You simply request access. They get an email. They confirm it. Now Gabriel has access to run ads on their page. Okay. Right? So that's the business manager. That's one capability of the business manager. So for right here in your case, local business, you can go with local business. That, that'd be a good one because um, that's pretty much what, what, what you are is a local business. Now, the page name, you're, there, there's two different names that you have. In fact, go ahead and, go ahead and go, leave this tab here, but go ahead and go to Facebook real quick and, and pull up. Um, go ahead and just type in my name in the, in the search field, David Cantero, C-A-N-T-E-R-O. Let, let me show you the difference here. Um, so if you just click on, if you just click on my name, um, if you see, let's see, click on people to the left and see if you can, if you can find me under people. Okay, the first one. So click on that first one. And then as you come over to my page, click on in the intro, you see C, CEO and founder at David. So go ahead and click on that one, David, my name, um, right there in the intro. That takes you to my business page. So if you click on my name down, down the yeah. intro. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah. So if you click on right in the intro, you'll see my name, CEO and founder, little below the intro. It says intro. Yeah. This is your intro. Yep. So click on my name there. And this is going to bring you to my business page. So over on your on the other tab, the business settings, it's asking you for the page name. So the page name is David Cantero, but my username is inspired digital. So mm -hmm. as we start to build out these platforms, we're going to have, we're, there's two names. You're going to name the page Gabriel. That, that could be the page name, but the username, that's going to be, that, that could be, that, that could be something pertaining to your real estate business. You want to think of one name and it's the username. It's the at sign. That's what we call a username. It's what we call a handle. So if, if people ask you, Hey, Gabriel, you know, how do I find you on social media? Rather than you telling them, okay, well, go in and type in my name. What I tell them is I say facebook.com forward slash inspired digital. Mm -hmm. So it's not my name because if you if you type in my name, David Cantero, if you notice, there was a million of them that pulled up. There's a lot of David Canteros. So to be precise and to really tell that person, hey, I'm here, you always want to give someone your username. So, so if you look at the URL at the top, the domain, the URL, facebook.com forward slash inspired digital. So, so the inspired digital is what we want to be able to customize. So what, what I want you to do after, after, you know, after we're done today, think of that one name. It's not your first name. Your first name is going to go on the page. Yes. Just like mine, David Cantero. Yes. Gabriel, that name's going to go there for sure. But what we what we want to do is we want to eventually customize the user name, the at sign, right? So, so back to the business settings, that's not the username, um, Go ahead and, and click on the other tab, business settings. So over here, it's just simply asking you for the for the for the user name. I took a screenshot. Okay, good, good. All right, all right. Okay, perfect. So if you go back to the business settings, the what it's asking you for there in this in this one page name is the actual name. So mine is David Cantero. So in your case, what I would do is I would put your name. I, 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 I like when it comes, when it comes to business pages, some people try to put their business name, but what I, what I found as far as experience, it's good to put your own name. 
So Gabriel, just like that, normal name, and then the username could be something like realtor or something like that. Uh -huh. okay, so we'll think of a username later. The username is what you want to customize for every platform. But the page name, that's that's just going to be the name. So that's fine. So choose a category and see if, pretty sure they have real estate. Um, you could find real estate or real estate agent. Yeah, real estate. Perfect. Or real estate agent. Hold on, let me see. I don't know if there was real estate agent. I, yeah, it's just real estate. That's fine. <clears throat> and then And then the address... This right here does not have to be public. So go ahead and put, put, put your information there. Perfect. So we'll create a page. And so now everything is going to stem back to you. It's all back to Gabriel. It's all back to his personal profile. He is the one behind all this. So, so, so what we're doing here is we're connecting Gabriel with this new business page. So, so this is an ID here. It creates an ID. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that that's... And so if you if you go to the very, very right, click on view page, and that will actually bring up your your new business page. And, and what we're going to do real quick is we're going to connect it. We're going to connect the personal page or the business page. We're going to link it to your personal, just like mine. So when you're on my personal page right there in the intro, you clicked on my name and it took you to my business page. So you can connect yours that way, too, or you can just not even connect it there. It's up to you. So what, if, what would be the implication if you connected to the person? Go back to to my page real quick. Go back to Facebook, the other tab. Open up this one. Let's click on, um, hit the back. Go back to my personal page. Most of the connections to answer your question, when it comes to, when it comes to just, just Facebook in general, not, not even just, not even speaking of Facebook advertising, not even, not even advertising. Advertising is, is on the other hand. When you're, when you're just speaking of just social media, Facebook, Instagram, all these different platforms, when it comes to social media, 99% of the time, a person is going to end up connecting with you, finding you, requesting you, searching in the top left and finding your name. And, and, and when 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to lead somebody to your personal page. Mm -hmm. So, so when, when we're in business, it's very, very important to be able to link or to be able to lead that visitor to where we want them to be led. So in, your, in, in my case, with my personal page, knowing that the majority of the engagement and the majority of the connections are going to happen here, people are going to come across my personal page before they come across my business page. So with that being said, I want to be able to link them. I want to be able to, to, to lead them where I want them to be led. So I'm going to put my business page there. I'm going to put my Instagram. I'm going to put my LinkedIn, my Pinterest, my Twitter, my website address, right? Because I don't want you to just stay on my personal page. I want to eventually connect with you on these other platforms. I want to eventually connect with you on my business page. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, so that's where I really want you. So if a visitor came to my personal, they're going to notice that, okay, CEO and founder at David Cantero. Okay, let me see what that is. They click and then they're on my business page, mm. right? So right there, CEO and founder, you click on my name and then boom, you're on my business page. Okay. A lot of times realtors, they'll put nothing there or they'll put their broker's business page there. Mm. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to become friends with me. And then I come to your personal page and I click on the intro and you're taking me to your broker's page. You yeah. should be taking me to your page. Okay. Right. So that's where I, I, I recommend you, you put the link, but if you, if you, in your case, if you're trying to really separate everything, then maybe not even put anything on the personal page and just, and just completely let's optimize this one. Let's get this one up to, up to par and really start just advertising this page and advertising only. Okay. For now, but you can always link. You can yeah, always we link. can always link. Yeah. I have a video that I'll send you that helps you link everything just like mine. Okay. Yeah, I have a simple video. Once you watch it, you'll be able to link everything in two minutes. Yeah, super simple. Okay, so over here, let's let's put it let, let, and see. So you notice right below the G, right below right below the profile picture, the letter G, you have your name. That's what you name the page, Gabriel, right? You have your name, and then you have the username. So when it comes to social media, you want to be able to have a username. You want to be able to have one username for everything. 
So if you have a LinkedIn, if you have an Instagram, if you have a Twitter, if you have a Facebook business page, the username, let's match it for everything. And the name is going to be for everything too. Gabriel, that name is going to be on every platform as well. But again, I don't, if I give you my name to search for me, you're going to find a thousand Davids. You're right. going to find a thousand David Canteros. So mm-hmm. for me to really take you to my real page, I want to be able to give you my username. And that's what I do. So as I'm on podcasts, as I'm networking, as I'm talking to people, as people are asking me, hey, David, where can I find you on social media? Hey, just go and type in Inspired Digital, do it on any platform, and you'll find me. That's easier than giving them my name, and they're going to find a thousand David Canteros. Thank you. Right? So so the username, we have to, we have to run a page-like ad. We have to get some likes on the page First, I don't think you can customize just yet. Let's try. In fact, I don't know if you even have a name that you want to that you're thinking of right now, because the username again. When you go back to my my Facebook, go back to my Facebook real quick. Look at the intro. I have one name for everything. So so yeah, my business page. That's the business page. But below, you see Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest. It's one name for everything. Inspired Digital. So if you click on any of them, click on any of them. Click on yeah, click on any of them. Twitter, whatever. So if you notice, it's a clickable link. That's number one. It's a clickable link. But again, I customized the user name. So if you want to find me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash inspired digital. Mm-hmm. That's the username. That's what we want to eventually customize for every platform. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is the username. And that's that's your business name. So so it's not going to just be your name. That's not the username. Your name is the page name. But for the username, it's good to maybe have your business name for that one, or maybe Gabriel Real Estate or Gabriel Properties. Yeah, or Gabriel yeah something like that. I was thinking. Yeah yeah, 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 something like that. That's what we want for all the platforms. And again, I have a video I'll send you that will help you link that link link everything. So let's go ahead and let's at least add a profile p- picture. Just just yeah. add anything for now. Just add hit the plus sign on the picture on the G. Yeah, hit that one and just let's just add any picture for now. So we'll add a button and we'll just do the send message button, but go ahead and click on that. So, and then just go ahead and click on contact you and then send message. We'll just do the send message one and hit next. And then you'll just click um, right here, messenger, click on that one, messenger. Yes. And then finish. Okay, so now people could just click it and send you a message on Facebook if they if they want to message you. Okay, perfect. So this is again the admin views. But if you take if you take the link at the very very top, go ahead and take that. You see um the 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 actual URL you got you got you got business.facebook.com, but let's just grab the Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash PG Gabriel, yeah, take from Facebook all the way to the right. Let's um yeah, let's get all that except for business. We don't need the whole link. We just need we just need Facebook. So Facebook.com forward slash PG slash Gabriel. Yeah, all of that. Let's grab all the all of that until the last number, which is I think nine. Yeah, I don't think that's your full page right there, but you can try. But I think the one that's why it's so important to customize the user name, because right now. Yeah. See, so go back to that page to the. Yeah. See, so right now, this is my point. You have the you have the page name, which is what you named it, Gabriel. That's the page name. But the user name, we need to customize that, because right now, if you want to tell tell anybody, hey, find my business page, go to Facebook.com forward slash PG forward slash Gabriel dash. And then, and then you have the 1108, that is all of your username. That's why we don't want to keep that. We need to change that. We need to customize it. So, so everything you have highlighted there, it's also up to the nine. So take it all the way up to the nine. We need to highlight it all the way to the nine as right, well. Because you need the ID. Okay. Well, it's not just the ID, but, but that's by default, that's the username Facebook gave you. So as you set up your Facebook account, your Facebook business page, they give you a default name. That's your default name. And that's a long one. So we don't want to be able to give people that. We don't want to have to give people that link, um, right. all those random numbers. So we'll customize it. 
All right, so I need a name. Okay, so let me see. So what this is. Well, go back to it. That's the full link, and that's fine. But but later on, you'll think of the one. Go ahead and go back to that tab to the very, very right, the Facebook one, the other one to the right of this one. Yeah, this one. So X out of this, leave. Yeah, cancel. So, so right here, this is this is how you you view it from the admin. Again, the other one was the admin view. This is also an admin view. Click okay. on your profile in the top right there on the right, right next to the blue button promote. You see your little picture there? Yeah, to the right. Yeah, click on that and then go to the second one down. So hit the drop down, go to your second one down, click on that one. That's the first one. Yeah. This is this is how your page looks to the visitor. So this is so if I from my end go to your business page right now, that's what I see. Mm -hmm. So 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 what you can do is you can let's let's go ahead and bookmark it from here. Let's bookmark this. Let's let's call this one our business page. So add bookmarks, and this is going to be business page. Okay. Yes, business page. And for you to go back into the 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 settings and the admin view, go ahead and hit your drop down, the, the picture there again, right below send message. Yep, hit the drop down and go back to the business page profile right there. Perfect. That allows you to view it from the admin and make any changes. You can click on settings to the left. You can you can make all the changes, edit everything. You can hide the address, all that from this view. Okay. So so we'll come back to the business page and, and fill out all the other info, but let's go back to business settings because there's a there's a, a few more bookmarks that we're we're gonna have to um, save. So pages were good there. Now to the left, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an ad account. The ad account to the left, that is the account where you start running ads from. This is where your credit card is tied to. So we'll just fill in the blanks now. We could just put a credit card on file. We're not going to run any ads anytime soon right now, but we'll at least fill it up, fill it out so we can save and bookmark this page. So let's create a new ad account. We're going to create a new ad account. Create, no, not that one. Exit of this one is create a new ad account. So the one at the bottom, yes. Okay, so this is, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to name everything that we start doing. The ad account, the business manager, the Facebook pixel, the business info, all of this stuff, it's all going to be around the realtor name. So, so the ad account name is the same as the business manager name, which is your name, realtor. So let's go ahead and put the same name we have in the top left. That same name we're using in the, in the top left, we're going to use that same name for everything. So go ahead and put your last name and then put realtor. Okay, perfect. And then there's the time zone. We're fine there. And then next. Okay, good. So this is the ad account. This is where the credit card for the advertising is tied to. Go ahead and click on my business and then create. And then over here, it's going to just simply ask for, for payment info. Um, go ahead and click on your name to the left. Click the circle. Check that circle. There you go. And then to the right, you're going to go to the very, very bottom. Full control, manage ad account. So again, this is the business manager. This is the ad account that we're setting up. Everything is tied back to you. That's your, your, your personal profile, Gabriel. So go ahead and click assign. So we're giving access to you. Um, add payment info. Okay, perfect. So there goes. Good. Okay, so there's that. Okay, perfect. So now here's, here's what we want to do now is let's bookmark this page. And this is going to be called ad account. This is our ad account. Okay, so from this point on, Gabriel, like you're always going to be able to, you know, reach out to me. We're going to always be able to, to jump on calls. I'm going to be helping you a ton way past these there, these few um, coaching calls. I'm going to be, be available for you when, whenever you need me for whatever ad, whatever, to strategize, whatever. But every now and then, every now and then, something will happen to the account where I don't have an answer to. Maybe, maybe you got billed and it, and you weren't supposed to be billed. Maybe, maybe someone logged into your account and 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 they weren't supposed to log in. Something random. Anytime something random comes up, you'll have to reach out to Facebook. And whenever I, you reach, what's that? How do I reach out? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I'll, I'll show you. You'll be emailing them or you'll Facebook message them. 
But but what I'm trying to say is when you reach out to them, whenever you reach out to them, the, the, the number one thing they want to know is your ad account ID number. So yes. that's your ad account ID number at the top. That's the most important number. So so that's how they look at your account. That's how they're able to, to pull up whatever ad you're referring to. So if you have a, a question regarding an ad or if, or if you were charged on a certain ad account, this is the ad account. So this is really, really important to, um, to always know and to, and, to, and to save, yeah, bookmark. So this is our ad account. Perfect. So I know a ton about this platform, but every now and then there's something that comes up that I don't know, and you'll have to reach out to Facebook, and that's the number, again, they'll want to know. Okay, so that's the ad account. Okay, perfect. So we're good there. We have that bookmarked. Now what we're going to do is to the left, we're going to click on data sources. Let's click on data sources and we're going to go to pixels. Now, we're not going to be able to set up the pixel just yet. Um, I guess we can set it up, but we're not going to be able to really install it because we don't have, we don't have, we need, we need some type of web page to, to put the pixel on, but let's, let's at least. Um, so where do I go? Yeah, set it yeah. up. Data sources. So data sources, click on that and then you'll see pixels. I know you said something about pixel on your email. Yeah. Yes. So this is the pixel over here. So um, go ahead and click on add and we'll just set one up. And again, just like the ad account, this is going to be the same name. So you can take away the word pixel and just leave realtor. Take away the S and just leave realtor. Everything is going to go around this one name. Okay, perfect. So continue. Okay, so now it's going to have us um, install it on a page, but we don't we don't have any pages yet. So we'll come back to this, but go ahead and click on set up the pixel now. And then manually add pixel code. And then here, all it's going to want us to do is copy that everything in the blue. That's your pixel. So so everything right there, that whole entire piece of code. That's what you would we would copy, which is what we just did, and then we would paste it on your web page. Mm -hmm. That's how Facebook starts to track activity mm -hmm. because the pixel is on the page. So that pixel goes on every page, every and any page that 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 you that you have. So as we go into our future calls, there's certain pages that I'll recommend when it comes to landing pages, and and we'll we'll be able to put that pixel on on the pages. So let's just X out of this for now. We're gonna we're gonna just leave it there. We'll X out, and 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 we'll come back. We won't bookmark it from here, but let's go ahead and add add people. So go ahead and click on add people at the top, to the right, add people, and then just go ahead and, and find your name. Yeah, add people, and then we'll just click on there's your name, and then just go ahead and full control manage pixel. Go ahead and shade the gray to blue to the right. Full control manage pixel. Yep, and then assign. Okay, so again, everything is, is connected back to you. The pixel, the ad account, the business manager, everything comes back to Gabriel. Okay, perfect. So we'll leave that there, pixel. And then once we install the pixel and we put it on a page, that red dot at the top, that turns green. Okay, so that red dot will be green at the top once we install the pixel somewhere. Um, okay, good. So we're, we're good there. So now to the very, very left, let's click on brand safety. And then let's click on domain. This is what we'll eventually need. We don't need it. We don't need it right now, but we'll eventually need um, a domain. So whatever whatever name you're you're going to be bringing to the marketplace. So for example, on mine, everything is Inspired Digital. The username for all of my platforms, Inspired Digital. So whatever that one name is for you, that's what I would recommend getting the .com on. Unless you already have a .com. So if you have I, this I, .com. I bought it. Yeah, but I don't know if it's still. Yeah, I think I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so again, that's your name. But what, but what name are we using for the username? Now, mm. you can use the same name if you want. You could totally just use the same name for the username. But, but whatever that username is, is normally what I would recommend getting the .com around. Um, but we'll, 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 we'll do that in the future. We can, we can always come back to that. So let's, we won't bookmark it from here, but we'll come back to domains because this, that the domain is very, very important. Okay. We cannot run ads until we have a domain. Okay. okay. 
So, so we'll come back to that. That's fine. So now what we're going to do on the, on the left-hand side is we're going to click on, let's click on payment methods. And we're going to actually have to add our card one more time. Um, what we added it to was the ad account. That's what we set up. We set up a new ad account with that credit card. But the payment method, this is more of the, the, the default. So go ahead and do it again. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so now, now that card, it, it, now you don't have to use that card, but it's always good to have some type of payment method on this section, payment methods. So that, that's good. Okay, perfect. So now, now the last one over here to the left, we'll click on business info. And all we're going to do is fill out all that business info, and that's it right here and the legal name of business that does not have to be a corporation that could be any 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 name you could put any name there so let's go ahead and fill this out and this is this is internally so no one's going to see this public this is not public information this is just for facebook we have all the business info there so now let's scroll down one thing you want to do for sure is set up the two-factor authentication that's that's very very important um let's do let's do everyone so anyone and everyone, not just admins, everyone, let's make sure. And I think you may have it set up already. So yes, right at the bottom, yes, security, go ahead and click on that one. And let's see if this brings us over to the setup. Yeah, okay, perfect. So this is very, very important because Facebook will, Facebook will eventually require you to do this. So what I do is I just do, I just do the text one. So the text one, that's fine. You can use, use the text one. So you'll get a text right, right away from Facebook if someone tries to log in. Okay, perfect. So we're secure there and that's that's good, perfect. So we'll hit save there. That's the two-factor authentication. Go ahead and confirm it here. That's one? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're active there, we're good. Okay, so you can X out of, out of this one. And um, we don't need that one anymore. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and expand the windows and let's just go back to the business info, back to the business settings. You can close out this page here, this tab. You can close out this tab. And then we'll go back to, um, and then you can close out this one as well. So we'll work out of this one. Actually, I think we're back at the bell. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back to the three lines at the top and right next to the FB. In the very, very top, you have those three lines next to the, yeah, right there. So let's click on that and go to business settings. That's the navigation bar. So you can always click on that. Hold on, I'm not sure what the, is it blocked or something? Give you a we'll go to the three lines in the top left and let's go to, let's go to ads manager. We'll go to ads manager. So now everything that we're going to be running and working out of is, is, is the realtor name. Okay, so now in the top left, what we'll do is as, as you navigate, and here's something to know as well. As you navigate, go, go ahead and click on, yeah, X out of that. As you navigate to the platform, sometimes Facebook will have you in the default account. Your default account is your, is your account, is the one that's tied to your personal profile. So if you click on see more ad accounts, You'll see, you'll see your personal one. So click on that, hit the drop down, and click on see more ad accounts. So down here, that's that's your personal one, the one below. But Got what it. we're working out of is the realtor one. Okay. So from this point on, you always want to hit the drop down. You always want to make sure you're working out of the realtor one. Okay. So from here, let's bookmark that one. That's that's the one we want to bookmark. This is where all the ads are ran of. So when we click when we start to run ads. This is where it all starts. This is ads manager. So let's just delete the rest of it. Ads manager. That's all you need to put there. Ads manager. This is where we run ads from. Okay. So ads manager. Perfect. Now let's click on the line to the left and let's go to, let's go to a uh, billing. Let's, let's make sure we bookmark billing. Let's go to billing. And over here, we're going to click on payment settings. And you'll see it here in the top right. You'll see payment settings. So let's click on that payment settings. And then this is going to bring us to um, the page where it shows us our billing date and our credit card, um, the last the last four digits. So here, let's bookmark it from here. This is our payment settings. We can name this one billing. Let's let's bookmark it under billing. 
or payment settings, whatever is easier for you. Perfect. Okay, so so here's what's going on. It when you when you when you open a new ad account, which is what this is, this is a new ad account, a new business manager, Facebook has you at a threshold as far as the billing. So every two dollars, your threshold right now is every two dollars. Every two dollars that it's spent, Facebook's gonna charge that card. And they only do it for the first few transactions. So maybe your first, maybe your first four to five transactions, two dollar transactions. Facebook's going to charge that card. So you're going to get a receipt. You're going to get an email for $2. And I think Facebook just does that to verify the card, to make sure that the, the card is legit, to make sure the card is going to be going through. And then as that card successfully processes for the first $2, again, it, it may happen four to five times, then Facebook increases the threshold and they may increase the $2 to $25. So now every $25, Facebook's going to charge that card in a 30 day period, in a 30 day period. So if you hit 25 bucks in a 30 day period, they're going to charge that card. Now, as they charge that card, $25 and they charge it maybe, maybe several times, then they increase your threshold. And so as you successfully run ads, as actually, actually, let me rephrase that as that payment successfully goes through for, for your first few ads, then that threshold will be so high Let's say, for example, the threshold's $900. And in a 30-day period, Gabriel only spent $200. Okay, so you didn't hit the threshold, and that's fine. So that means Facebook is only going to bill you on the 31st. Mm -hmm. Right? So, so right now, because I've been running ads for so long, my threshold is, is, is high. And that's a threshold that I'm not going to reach in a 30-day period which is totally fine. So that means that I'm only billed on the 31st. So if my threshold is $900, but I only spent 500 in a 30 day period. Okay. Well, I'm billed 500 on the 31st. Okay. So knowing your threshold, knowing your billing date, knowing what card is on file is very, very important because you don't want to wake up one day and credit and Facebook, you know, hits your credit card for 300 bucks. And you're like, what the hell? I didn't even know they're going to charge me today. Right. That happened to me. And I was pissed off. And that's why this is so important today. Cause you don't want to be surprised with a, with a credit card charge from Facebook. So that's billing that's bookmarked. Okay. We're good there. Now let's hit the three lines to the left and we're going to go to um, let's go to, let's go to audiences. Audiences are going to be, the most important from this point on audiences are is the data that you start collecting from people who are engaging with your advertisements so for example go to facebook let's do, let's just go to open up the tab to the very left at the very top very left let's go to that facebook over there no 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 at the very top the tab facebook the the it says eight and then my name david cantero the tab the top yeah that's twitter we can close out that one but right here, Facebook. Let's click on, um, let's click on, on the house, the little icon at the top. Let's go to the home. So you have your, this is, this is my personal profile. And then if you click on the home at the top, the little house icon, this brings you back to the news feed. The news feed is what it's all about. So this is, as you scroll through, you see what your friends are posting. So go ahead and scroll down. Let's see what's, what's going on here. This is the news feed. So this is where all everything happens. So this is where we start to see our friends posting. And then we come across ads just like that. So, so go back up real quick. This go back to the ad. So anytime you see the word sponsored, scroll down to the hub hub spot. I think it was the ad. So a little lower, a little lower. Um, I think it's this one down right here. So HubSpot, okay, anytime you see the word sponsored, that's an ad, okay? So this is coming from a business page that you don't like, you haven't liked it. This is coming from someone that you probably don't even know. This is an ad. So right below the link there, if you if you move the cursor, you'll see the word sponsored. And again, anytime you see that, you know it's an ad. So here's what custom audiences are. This right here is a video. So if you hover, don't click, don't click on it. Just hover over the video. It's, what is it, 13 seconds long? Yes. Okay, so here's what custom audiences are, and here's the power of Facebook advertising. This video right here, this could be a 13-second video of Gabriel. This could be a one-minute video of Gabriel giving seller tips, 
or this could be a, a one minute video of Gabriel giving away a buyer tip. Hey guys, this is Gabriel. Just wanted to come on here and give you a tip when it comes to buying. I know a lot of people are buying nowadays. Let me tell you how important your FICO score is and why you want to make sure your credit score is, a, is, is at a good number before you apply for a mortgage. Whatever. It could be anything, right? We're giving tips on, on, on real estate, whatever. My point is, is let's say, for example, it's a 13 second video. What Facebook allows us to do is, is, is not track the person by the name. They're not giving you the name. It's not a lead. So they're not giving you, unless that person clicks and goes to your webpage and then gives up their name and email, okay, there's a lead. But right now, Facebook is just collecting the data. They're just, they're just giving you the ability to put everyone who, who has watched the video, whether they watched it right here, we've been on this video for a long time. We've already watched the whole 13 seconds. So with this person HubSpot, what they're able to do is they're able to take that data. They're able to put that data in what Facebook calls a custom audience. So they know that Gabriel sat here and watched the entire 13 seconds. Even if it was 13 minutes, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the full amount of 13 minutes or 13 seconds. What Facebook allows us to do is track it by three seconds. They can, th this, this company HubSpot, let's say for example, it's a 13 second video, but Gabriel only watched it for three seconds. Okay, HubSpot can now put Gabriel in a custom audience. And everyone who's in that custom audience watched our video for three seconds. But in Gabriel's with Gabriel, what they know, what, what HubSpot now has is the data of the fact that Gabriel watched it for 13 seconds. So now Gabriel is in HubSpot's custom audience of those who watched it for 13 seconds. Why is that so important for HubSpot? Because HubSpot, they now know that they can run another ad to you and you're going to remember them. Let's say that was a two minute video. So if I sat here and watched it for two minutes and, I, and, 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 and now that person has me in a custom audience of me watching it, even if they put me in a custom audience of those who watched it for one minute, even if they put me in a custom audience of those who watched it for 30 seconds, Gabriel put out a two minute video, but now he has me in an audience of those who watched at least 30 seconds of it. Now what Gabriel's going to be able to do is take that audience and show them another ad. That's what this is all about. So this is not about putting out one ad and making sure that and, 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 and hoping that that person clicks and gives you all their information. What it's all about at the end of the day is consistently running ads to people who have who have engaged in previous ads. So Gabriel is now in their custom audience. You're going to see another ad from them without a doubt. You will see another ad because they know that you watched it for 13 seconds. Now go ahead and click on learn more. Click on learn more. Now what happens next? Gabriel clicked on learn more. Now he came over to their web, web page. Because they have the Facebook pixel, remember that piece of code? They have that code on this page for sure. I know that for sure. Every Everyone does. They have their Facebook pixel on this page. That's how they know Gabriel landed here. So what's going to happen next? Why is that information so important? Because now HubSpot, they know that you're somewhat interested. Not only did, do they have you in a custom audience of you watching their video for 13 seconds, but they also have you in a custom audience of those who clicked and went to their webpage. So that person to them you're a prospect. To them, you're a very interested prospect because they have the data that you actually clicked. If you click on get started, guess what? Go ahead and click on the orange one, get started. Oh, sorry. So now as you click on that, guess what? They also have their Facebook pixel on this page. And they also have this specific page, this specific URL. So the domain at the very top, not only do they have their Facebook pixel on this page, but they also have this page set up as a custom audience. So again, they know that you got this far. That's important data for HubSpot because now what HubSpot, what HubSpot can easily do is they can easily run another ad to only people 
who landed on this page. Hey guys, this is a HubSpot. Hey, I noticed you got to our create a free account page, but you but you didn't fill out, fill in the information to create a new account. Let me tell you why this is so important, why it's free, and why this is so much value to you, and why you're going to want to set up your account now. That's a very specific ad going to a very specific audience. You see how that works? Yeah. Yes. So so that's custom audiences, and that's what it's all about is being able to create these audiences of people that are engaging so you can retarget them and show them more ads in the future. That's 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 what it's all about. That's that's Facebook advertising. It's all so about it, these custom audiences. means I'm gonna receive like a list and I can retarget the audience? Yes, it? man, yes. It's not a list, but it's just an audience. It's just data that that is that is dynamic and it continues to build. It builds all the time as people land here, Facebook is just collecting that data. Oh, okay. That so you're Facebook able to use. collecting the data. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facebook's collecting the data and putting it in an audience. So if you put your pixel on the page and you take the link at the very, very top and set up a custom audience, which we'll do one right now. Let's just go to your um go to any website. Go to go to go to your do you have a real estate website at all? Yeah, from the just just go go to it and let's just let's just use that one for an example. Let's just go to that page. And we're going to we're going to set it up as, as a custom audience. Now, it won't be a, a, a full usable custom audience because our pixel is not on that page. But what we can still do is we can we can just get the link. Um, we need to I can link my this to, to my domain, right? What's yes. that? I think you can link. Yeah. yeah, you can we can we can get your own domain and you can forward it. You can forward it to this one, to any any page. Sorry, but the pixel is is the most important. But even even this one at the top, we don't even have to log in. Let's just use that link at the top. So so let's expand this. Open up this window. Let's expand it. So this link at the top. Let's go ahead and grab that. So X out of the red login. We'll just grab this at the top. Actually, double click it. Double click it. Open up the link. Yeah, double click it. Yeah, because all we need is the URL. We don't need the HTTPS. So copy everything except for the HTTP. We don't need the HTTP. So double click it. I think you got the HTTP. Go ahead and just double click the, the URL at the top and just grab just the domain. Yeah, just... Well, we need the .com as well. So everything to the right. Perfect. Just that. So as you set up custom audiences, again, the custom audience is those who landed on this page. That's the audience. So let's go back. You can X out of HubSpot. Let's get out of this one. Um, let's get out of this one. We don't need this window. And let's go back to the ads manager right here. So we hit the blue one. Create a custom audience. Go ahead and click that blue button. Create a custom audience. So... These are the different audiences, the different options, website, customer list, video. This, the, those are the, the three main ones that you'll be building custom audiences around. Those who land on a website, those who watch your video, or maybe even a list of past clients, you can create an audience of those people. And, 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 and the reason why that could be very powerful is because if you have a list of your past clients, last buyers, last sellers, you have a list of all them. Those are people who don't need to see your Facebook ads. So that list would be uploaded to Facebook. Let's just say that's a, a, a random list that you have in your CRM, a list of, of everyone's email that you did business with, right? We take that list, we upload it to Facebook as a customer list. That becomes a custom audience. And again, the reason why that could be important is because these are people that already bought from me. These are people that I've already sold a house with. These are people that don't need to see my ads. So what I can do with an audience is not only can I include them for future ads, just like we went over with HubSpot, they're going to include you. They know you watched it for 13 seconds. They know you clicked on the website. They're going to include you when they run future ads because they're going to always want to retarget you because you, you, you're in their audience. 
But again, with the customer list, I also have an audience of my clients, but that's a, that's a list that I would use to exclude. And I'll, we'll, we'll go into more of that in our future calls, but, but you can include and target a, a list or you can exclude and not target a list. So a customer list of my clients, that could be a list that I use to exclude. Okay, so, so in this case, we're gonna go website. We have a website, we have the URL, we just copied the link. We're gonna create an audience around those who land on that page. So hit next. And so over here, and we're gonna just do this as an example because that way we can bookmark it and we'll start filling in these audiences as we go. But um, this right here, it's asking us for, um, for, yeah, see, so we have to put that pixel on something. We, we'll do this part later. We gotta put our pixel, we gotta put our pixel on something first. So X out of this, let's just bookmark it without saving it. But I was gonna create an audience around that, that website. Anyone who lands on that website is in this audience. That's what I was gonna do here as, as an example. But we have to put the pixel on the page first. So let's just, let's just create, this is, this is custom audiences. Let's bookmark the name, custom audiences. And we'll just come back to this page. So custom audiences, and then we'll hit um, done. Perfect. So custom audiences, and we'll come back here. So hit done. And then now let's hit the three lines to the left and we're gonna go to events manager. Let's go to events manager. Perfect. And then our last, our last couple bookmarks are over here. Once we add the pixel on a page, go ahead and X out of this. Well, once we add the pixel on a page, then all this information will, will be available um, for us. And, and this is the, over here is where your pixel uh, will be. So let's go ahead and bookmark this for now. It won't be our final bookmark because we want to install the pixel first. But once we install the pixel, this bookmark is our pixel. So go ahead and, go ahead and save it under pixel. And we may have to re 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 bookmark this one. Actually, we will re bookmark this one once we add the pixel somewhere. Okay, so now hover over the blue triangle to the left, and we got one more bookmark: custom conversions. And we'll go more into into custom conversions um, once we get our web pages. But this right here is the most important: is your custom conversions. Let's bookmark this page, and this won't be our final bookmark because we have to click the blue button and create one, and then we'll bookmark it from there. But let's just at least bookmark it for now. Custom, custom conversion. conversions. Yeah, custom conversions. And we'll go more into this one on our, on our third call. Okay, so now let's look at the bookmarks. What do we got in the bookmark folder? So let's go to the business manager folder. We should have, we should have I think eight bookmarks in there, seven to eight saved. Um, so we have, can you move that folder up? Are you able to drag? Let's um, yeah. Let's let's put that up a little higher. Okay, perfect. All the way. Perfect. Okay, cool. So let's look at that folder. What do we have in there? We have um, we have we have business settings, business page, ad account, ads manager, billing, custom audiences, pixel, and custom conversion. Those are your top eight, Gabriel. Those are the top eight. That's it. So at the end of the day, those are the only eight pages we'll ever be clicking on ever to be running Facebook ads. So as we move through our few, our next few calls, we'll be, we'll be filling in the custom audiences. We're going to fill in the pixel. We're going to fill in the custom conversions. And then, um, and then, and then the ads manager, that's where we'll learn how to actually run the ads. So everything is in those top eight, eight tabs. So that right there is 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 our is our business manager setup and just our, our basic overall tutorial of all these bookmarks. So any questions on this part? No, I'm gonna review your uh, no. I mean okay. I got the idea, but from here to know it, it's I need to look at one more. Yeah. Yeah. So as we move forward through through our next few calls, we'll fill in, we'll fill in all of those. And um and and make sense of each each bookmark. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you have it very clear in your head how they're connected and the menu and everything. Yes, you know it by heart, but yeah, it's good. I wish Perfect. I knew how I do it. Perfect.